What's up, people, and welcome back to Mad Jeff headquarters. Again, I'm back with another logic tip, this time in a screen flow tutorial. This time I'm going to be working with sampling, uh, trimming, uh, taking and trimming uh, drum loops and uh, for kicks and snares and hi-hats and that type of thing inside of logic along with the EXS sampler and how to quickly go about creating uh, customized drum sounds. So let's go by, uh, let's get Logic open here and create a new project. All right. All right, let's create an empty one. And then I'm gonna add a couple tracks. Uh, one of the tracks is gonna be an audio track. And then I'm gonna add another track and that one's going to be a software instrument track. Okay, the audio track I'm going to use for my uh, for my drum loop, and then uh, for the instrument track, I'm going to open an instance of uh, the EXS uh, 24 sampler. And again, instead of using stereo outputs, I'm going to go with the multiple outputs on that. Okay, because I want to be able to work with samples and use them uh, uh, so that they're uh, individual individual outputs for each one of the kicks, snares and the other samples uh, that I might use. Let me move this over here for now because what I'm going to do is shift to my audio track and I'm going to go to my loops library and uh, you know you I'm going to select drum loops and any drum loop will do. I mean you know you're really looking to find um, kicks and snares you know you might have a loop but it might not have everything you want in it but it may have kicks and snares that allow you to uh, chop them up and process them. So let's take a quick a listen at a couple of loops and see if we can find some hits that we like, okay? Okay, let's use this one. All right, I just found that one. I'm gonna drag it to an audio track real quick, okay? And there it goes. Okay, so now I've got this loop in my audio window and if I look if I zoom in, I can see, if I hit my Z button on my keyboard, it'll allow me to zoom in and see the individual hits, okay? If I play it, I can see that this is my kick, this is my, my snare hit. I really like that little snare hit there. Uh, the kick ain't bad either, so let's use both of them. A uh, quick and easy way to go about setting this up, now that I've got my loop, is I'm going to go into my ES24, which is down here on this, on this track. I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to open up an edit window for it. Okay, there it is. Okay, simply now I'm going to hit the command key on my keyboard to select the marquee tool and then I'm just going to drag it across to create a region. Let go of command, hit the click button, and I've just separated that audio region. Same thing again on this snare or this hit. Command. Drag there, click again, bam, I've just separated those regions. Now I'm going to take this kick drum and I'm just going to drag it down into my ES24. Take this snare and I'm going to drag it down to my ES24 also. I'm going to set the key to C3 on that one, C sharp 3 on this one. Change the volume to, to its maximum, which in this case would be 12. Same here. As you can see now, these sounds stretch out the duration of the keyboard. But I'm going to tell it, I only want you to play one note, and that is on C3 of my keyboard here. And uh, for the snare sound, I want that to be C sharp 3. Okay? Real simple. So what I've done is I've taken these two sounds, kick and the snare, and I've assigned them to keys. There it is, the kick, and there's the hit. See, these are cool sounds to work with. And I go to my keyboard, when I'm on my uh, EXS track, go to my keyboard, I can play them. So I've just borrowed these from the uh, from the loop without really being married to any of the other sounds in a loop. I no longer need this loop. I can get rid of that. So let's just take that, mute that track because we don't need it. It's not doing anything for us anymore. Okay. I've set a zone, a 
key and I've set a zone for uh, the sounds. There they are, kick and the snare. Okay, when I go to close this, it's going to ask me if I want to save it and I'm going to say yes. Okay, it's going to tell me, ask me what I want to save it as and I'm just going to call it uh, uh, tight drums. Okay, now I've saved this as an instrument in my EXS that's now available in my library. I can call it up anytime I want to use it and there it is. Switching over to my mixer quickly, I've chosen the EX with the multiple outputs. So again, here's my plus symbol. When I start clicking on that plus symbol, it creates for me those all stereo outputs and then it goes into shifting and creating the multiple outputs. Okay? Now if I go back to my edit in the EXS 24, notice here I've got an output channel. I can actually choose between those stereo outs or individual outs. In this case 11 and 12. Okay? Go over here and I hit those kicks and that kick and snare again. Uh, obviously, when I'm on my EXS track, there you have it. Quick and easy way. All I did, and this works with any sample, any loop, doesn't matter. Any audio loop you can bring in, you can cut it quick and easy, drag those pieces into your sampler, and voila, you've got individual hits that are available to be processed any way you choose to. Man, if only it was this easy back in the day when I started with an Akai MPC-60 and I was digging through crates of records trying to find samples, sampling them into the unit and truncating them in there, man, what kind of work did I put in? I put in hours of work just to get samples. And within a couple minutes, I was able to find a kick and a snare to use in my production. So there it is, quick and simple, using the EXS and an audio track with the built-in loop or any additional loop or audio that I bring in. I can use the marquee tool by pressing Command, highlighting the area, clicking it again. It chops in an individual samples for me, drag those into the EXS, voila. Does it get any easier than that? So get busy. Everything you need is within Logic. I mean, if you need to sample and create drums, man, you really don't have to look very far. Outboard drum machines and all that stuff are cool if you need them, but with Logic and the ability to sample, truncate, assign the keys, you can get it all done within Logic in very little time. So that's all for this example. Uh, this is the uh, EXS sampling uh, drum kit uh, tutorial for ScreenFlow. I'm Mad Jeff, and I'm out. Peace.